Hello and welcome back everybody. Here we are with another long awaited video for that. And I know everybody in the comments has been waiting for where's cooking with Mr. T. I see y'all in the comments, hit me up on my DMs and everything. Today I'm gonna be attempting to make some um some vegan oven baked churros. We're gonna see how that goes. I really don't know how it's gonna go, but I mean I guess that's why we're here to figure it out. So some of the ingredients it calls for is, are, is um, all purpose flour, ground cinnamon, salt, sugar, vanilla extract, coconut oil, and water. Cinnamon, thank you. Um, and then I said we needed some salt, sugar, and, oh, flour. 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 Bless. So here we got some. Um, unbleached, all-purpose, enriched flour. That should be good. So, I really think that's all I need. I'm gonna go over it one more time, just to make sure. So we have our vegan butter, our cinnamon, salt, sugar, sugar. oh, coconut oil. So I just got, took some, so I, I put it in here. So here's our um, coconut oil we need. So now that we have everything we need now, boom. So, instructions. Oh, I should probably, do I need to preheat the oven? Like 375 degrees. In a pan, add water, in a pan? Why am I doing this in a pan? Pan, add the cool pastry to So, um, my main problem right now is I really don't I really don't understand these instructions. Um, I don't know if it's just me or not. Um, and just do it exactly as it says. Are you sure about that? So let's hope that this that this works. So in a pan. I don't really a pan. What? Hey, what's a pan? So add water. So I have one cup of water. All right, so now we got our one cup of water. So I'm going to take that, um, go ahead and turn the heat on. So we're going to go ahead and add that. We got one cup of water. So then we're going to add the coconut oil. We need to add the sugar and salt. How much sugar and salt do I need? So I need one tablespoon. Yeah, one tablespoon. Okay. So one tablespoon, one tablespoon. Oh, it's a tablespoon. Okay, so one tablespoon of sugar. Go ahead and do that. So here's my one tablespoon, and now I need one fourth teaspoon of salt. Oh my gosh! Sugar everywhere. Um, that's enough. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add that. So far, this really isn't making any sense. Oh, water boils. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the water to boil. Add the cool dough to a pastry bag. Where's my spoon? I don't know where it's such a mess. Oh shoot. Until it makes a dough. I mean it's creating a dough. I'm a little confused. How this is going to be what it's supposed to be. It looks. It, it look. It looks pretty all right. I guess. Um, yeah, I kind of just have to let it um just cool for ten minutes. Once I let it cool for ten minutes, um, I can come back to it. At this point in this um, this baking video, I'm kind of I'm just just a tad concerned as to how everything is really supposed to come together because like I said this 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 um what is this this instructional that I'm supposed to be reading right now is really is really kinda confusing for a brother. Um find the sugar and cinnamon in a low pan. One fourth cup. One fourth of a cup? That's a lot. Um what am I doing? Oh my goodness, it got on my phone. Shoot. Um, 
how much is this? This is really just going into shambles. The longer I let this video go. Um, so, <laughs> yes, yeah, you're going to. Can I say it? Can I say the, the same? No. I'm not allowed to? No. What you about to say? I'm about to say hell in a handbasket. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this really isn't. Uh, um. <laughs> one fourth cup of sugar. Okay, so one fourth cup. I'm still confused by this, um, by these instructions, but I'm gonna do it. So I'm adding that. Now I'm mixing it up. So basically now I'm just going to take my um, cooled dough and I'm going to put it in this thing. And um, if you all haven't realized throughout this um, little docu-series, throughout this little series, um, this show really isn't for you to help, to help you cook, period. It's not to help you cook. So at this point, I'm going to wait for it to cool down. I'm going to check back in with you. Now all I'm telling you is to roll up the dough um, into some seven-inch sections. Still feel like it's kind of, kind of, kind of not um, cool. But at this point, I've been waiting for a good amount of time, and um, I think I'm done waiting. Basically, um, more or less, I'm just pop this joint in the freezer, and then hopefully that can give me some expedited um, results. So um, once again, I'll check back in with y'all in a couple. Um, minutes and see see what we're looking like um i look forward to seeing you all in the um next couple of minutes all right so um i'm back um i've been letting the joint chill for a little bit so hopefully hopefully this puts us in a better place than the place we were in the last time because really that wasn't that wasn't the vibes that's not what i was looking for oh no what's happening so i'm just gonna try and get this basically out as far as I can because at this point it's really isn't going for how it needs to be going. I really hope I'm doing this right. Um, I haven't looked back at the recipe um, since um, after I was waiting for the joints to cool down. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the f are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop! So maybe, I probably should have, but at this point, it's a little bit too late now. All right, so now I just basically put everything, everything. Now I just put basically all the little things I made in the oven. And then I'll be back with you, hopefully, with the final product if nothing went wrong. All right, so I was just reading back over the little, um, what's it called? Little directions as to how to make this joint. And I did something wrong, but um, I, I don't think it's made that much of a difference. All right, so I'm mad because um, I, these definitely didn't turn out how I think they were supposed to turn out. So, hey, has anything I've ever made on this channel turned out good? Yeah, but really these, I don't I don't know. Y'all not y'all, but the viewers, just take a just take a quick gander. First of all, listen listen to this, listen. It's not like a construction hammer to me. But I mean Maybe, maybe y'all can just make this and maybe it'll turn out better for you. I don't even know what to say about these. It's hard out here. It's hard out here for a bake, for a cook. Hard out here for a cook. I don't know what to say, but I thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, make these at home if you want to take if you want to take the gamble because it might just be me. Who knows? Um, should I taste these on camera? I don't know. Um, I mean, I could give it a quick little quick look mmm delicious alright so um yep yeah, thank you all for watching
Hope you all have a great day, midnight, evening, whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow us on Instagram at TEANBZ or just my personal Instagram. You can definitely do that too, which is Trey Cars, T R E B C A R S. Um, yep. Hope you all have a day. A, a day. Hope you all have a good day. Um, I look forward to seeing you whenever we decide to post again. And on that note, we out.